guys welcome to my channel although i don't know if i'm gonna post this on youtube so welcome to my igtv um yeah so girl um i went ahead and did a little bit of makeup um for you guys so that you guys can know how special you are but but this is the good side <laughs> i don't really like this side <laughs> i don't think it, it came out well um as i was anticipating it to to come up so i just wanted to get on here and just um have a conversation and now that we have the time honeys um to shoot these videos to look cute for them and all of that good stuff honey we are gonna take advantage of that yeah so i hope i hope i'm able to just bring light laughter and just joy um into these videos because you all know we need it we need it right now i'm not gonna stop moving because this thing keeps um focusing and refocusing and that could be a problem yeah so i'm gonna try and stay still um as much as i can so i just wanted to come on here and talk about just things that were happening <laughs> in my life that were really awesome until we just were put on hold and stop everything sleep rest stay in the house and all of that and um, some of the things that were happening i mean january started out so well january was amazing it was fun it was nerve-wracking for me because um, i had my very first group coaching event and that was exciting everything about it was exciting yeah and and i really enjoyed it february was when um i started thinking about um our next event which was meant to be in march yeah but um just as god knew it wouldn't have happened and either way because of other issues and other factors i was not able to just come to a place whereby i could arrange another group coaching session so i was planning to have this session in april but um yeah that's not gonna happen it's not gonna happen in april because things as they are we're still trying to just figure out um how soon this corona thing is gonna be figured out so yeah um that was good then in january i decided one of my goals was to lose weight this year and to look my very 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 honey very very best <laughs> for the year and and that was one of my goals i just want to look good and feel good and balance my hormones to be honest yeah so that was a very that was that was my first first priority um for the year and for those who came for my event i talked about having a goal that um a goal that will enable you to achieve the rest of the other goals so for me it was just my health my weight loss um just eating healthier and feeling good because i knew if i look good i'd feel good um i'd feel good i'd be able to put that energy into other things i'd be able to test myself through working out and to see how far can i get how is my commitment and my consistency and my discipline and all of that so i that was that was my my underlying goal that would help me to just be able to push forward um, when it comes to just pursuing my other goals so it's much right now i've lost a good amount of weight and i feel good about it even though it's really hard to just feel good about it because um honey i want to go to swimming and you know rock the bikini and all that but that's that's not gonna happen yeah <laughs> so we're just gonna have to look cute at home and just celebrate the wins um yeah and all of that so just in the wake of the corona issue and all of that um i lost a loved one i lost my cousin and that was really hard for me and for my family as well and even just processing the grief during this time because <sighs> it's just hard yeah and and you want to hug people you want you want people to be there for you to come and mourn with you and all of that and just be there for you and the much they probably can do is just call you i'm um, telling they love you and that they're there for you and you feel all of it and you're grateful and you're thankful for all of it but you just want a hug yeah and all of that but that was hard <sighs> so that happened and then also just accepting this corona thing because a lot of us haven't just come to that place of just acceptance and accepting that it is happening and accepting that it's gonna affect us and it is affecting us already and um just being at peace with that so a lot's been going on with me emotionally and just trying to process all of this because um it's something that we've never really experienced me personally i've never really experienced anything of this sort in my entire life yeah so just Going through the motions of just the emotions up and down up and down up and down is really crazy so at some point i thought should i just give up on my goals should i just give up on my dreams should i just give up on coaching should i give up on that calculator should i give up on life and just sleep and not do anything ever again <sighs> i was tempted to do that i wanted to do that and on some days it's really hard because that's all you want to do you just want to stay in bed and just be like what the hell is going on oh and it's frustrating but then again, you look at all the good things that are in your life. To have family, to have people that love you, to be able to stay in the house and be able to just leave and be able to afford a life even in the house, no matter how little or no matter how, whatever it is, but just to be able to enjoy that. 
then I am blessed, then I'm grateful for that. Then the other thing is I woke up today. So I'm grateful to God that I am here today and right now. So my story is not over yet. It's not over until it's over. So I don't have to sleep in. I don't have to be depressed about it. Yes, I can I can, I can get into those moments, but I get to choose to live and to live in the conditions that there are. And one of the things that I struggle with is just being anxious and anxiety. So um, one of the, th the things that helps me when I'm anxious is praying. That helps me a lot. Um, the other thing is calling someone I love or someone that sparks joy in my life and just talking to them. And um, for me, that that just calms my nerves down. Um, the other thing that helps me with anxiety is a workout. Sometimes I'm so anxious I can feel it here on my throat. Like I normally tell you guys to trace it in your body, trace, trace the emotion in your body. So I'm so anxious I can actually feel it in my throat. So one of the things that I do, I just go work out. And when I work out, I even feel like the, the anxiety that was just here on my throat has just gone, gone like that. The other thing that I do, um, I read a book also very calming there's something just about getting lost in someone else's world and someone else's story and all of that and um for me also when i feel it like here in my throat or even in my tummy i after just reading and just getting lost in that book i feel like i'm relieved when i stand from there i feel like that anxious thought those anxious feelings are just dissipated i didn't want this video to be too long but those are just some of the things that i wanted to share with you guys and um i love you guys i hope you're taking care of yourself um during this time i hope you are encouraging yourself i hope and i pray that um everything will be very soon and I, I believe that we will be very free to do this so guys stay relatable forever i love you guys and thank you for helping me and this the work that i do i really appreciate you guys Bye.